For many years I have been writing notes, um, in, sort of in the form of a diary, in books like this. I've got loads and loads of these. Um, occasionally I get a chance to go back over some of what I wrote. Some of it's really embarrassing and ignorant. Um, but I'm going to read some of the some of my thoughts out, um, which might be of interest to other people. They're certainly not as uh, well prepared as some of the videos I spend time editing and adding pictures and uh, video clips and music to. So um, don't watch this if uh, if it's not the sort of thing you find interesting. Right, the first bit I'm going to read is from the 5th of February 2008. Been reading The God Delusion and watching documentaries and seminars on the subject of atheism mainly. This was a time when I was living in a caravan away from home and for, for long periods of time and when I went home I was able to um, watch YouTube and Google video documentaries and save copies and then take them away and watch them on my laptop. Where was I? Oh yeah. I think the existence of a supernatural god is fairly unlikely. I think the contents of the Bible, Quran and Vedas are almost certainly written by humans for gullible consumption within with a view to curtail freedom of thought. The Bible contains so much amoral dogmatic nonsense, it amazes me how many people, including people I know, can venerate and take it seriously. The truth shall set you free. That's fairly good. Love thy neighbour. That's a bit dodgy. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Fairly good. Kill those who work on the Sabbath. That's bad. Thou shalt not kill, and in brackets, Jewish people. Contradicts the above. Uh, it's also bad and racist. So, jumping forward a couple of pages. I now have a much better understanding of evolution by natural selection. Thinking about how dogs breed are Thinking about how dog breeds, I could hardly read my own writing here. Thinking about how dog breeds are created by artificial selection seems such an obvious clue. This is something I picked up from uh, Cosmos by Carl Sagan. I sort of knew this anyway, but uh, anyway, back to the diary. There is no better way to become worldly wise than by reading, watching, listening, and discussing things in an open minded way. Science encourages that. Religion does not. Whether there is an afterlife or reincarnation or higher planes of existence or reality, I don't know. I think that if there is and we have a soul which survives our physical death, then whatever the nature of this, there must be a rational explanation, even if beyond normal understanding. Otherwise, I'm insane. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that would be of no interest to anybody, mainly tunes and music, musical notation. Right, here we go. The 25th of September 2008, we're jumping forward a bit. Been reading and thinking about astronomy, cosmology, evolution, morality, anthropomorphism, religion, spirituality, etc. If one goes down the road of reason, observation of evidence, oh, and that bit is unfinished. So, we jump forward three days to the 28th of September 2008. What is God? Divine creator of the universe? Why pray to him? What is so, what is so good about eternal praise? I think that God exists only in the minds of the faithful, or gullible. Religion seems full of cop-outs, 
trying to make the story fit the facts. If you behave in a heathen manner, your soul will be tormented forever in hell after you die. There may well be much goodness in the Bible. I know of plenty really bad stuff, but one day I intend to read it in its entirety, which I still haven't done. I'm troubled by the fact that uh, so many people... Oh, no, 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 I can't read that bit. It's too specific. Uh, right, this is about a specific person, but I'm just going to omit names when they come up. I have never seen, or I've, I have never experienced anything or seen proof of anything that didn't have a rational explanation. I must add that having learned something about the power of our imagination, our subconscious, and the placebo effect, and psychological manipulation, so much mystery pops like a bubble. The veil of confusion is lifted somewhat. To me now, more than ever, Scientific principles are the only ones of real value. Intellectual honesty steers one away from supernatural explanations, generally even though there are still many unanswered questions about life and our place in the universe. There is so much evidence which indicates that we evolved from simpler life forms by natural selection, and so little suge to suggest that we were created. Primitive thinking looks for purpose and meaning in everything. The evidence available strongly suggests that there is no meaning or purpose to life, only what we humans have invented. There is no morality in the universe, none in rocks, elements and chemicals, not too sure about plants, some in animals and lots in us. Good and evil are concepts invented by us. It would be nice if our subconscious continued after our bodies died, but I'm really not sure that it will. I used to think so, but I was younger and less experienced and less knowledgeable than I am now. I don't think I've changed a huge amount. I've never been religious, but having followed the information wherever it's led, have arrived somewhere far from religion and further from and further from any form of spirituality and further from any form of spirituality than I used to be. This person recently said that if there is no spiritual dimension, then what's stopping her from stabbing me with a knife? And what is the point in anything? And I said, the point is that there is no point, and that we are lucky to be alive in this amazing world, and that we should make the most of it while we can, rather than looking forward to something better after we die. That way, if there is a continuation of consciousness, it will be a pleasant surprise, and if there isn't, then we haven't wasted so much time chasing delusions. I think she is disappointed that I no longer believe, in quotes, so much new new agey stuff. I feel free I feel freer than ever before and I feel I am closer to the truth. Skepticism is healthy. Right. Um what are these thoughts uh, that's just a small extract for now. Um are what I've always done or for a very long time is write notes down in books. More recently, um, having got involved with the video making process, that is just a continuation of that. Um, the videos that I make evolve from notes I've made and thoughts I've had. So, if I was in the, uh, if I was making videos five years ago, um, that's what they would have been about at that time. So, I'm gonna read some more stuff out but probably put them into separate video it's a lot of this is it's kind of selfish really um 
it's a, a record of my thoughts, um, which, if I have the time to go over them, um, sort of, it's like a sorting house. It helps me to organise my own thoughts better. Anyway, cheerio for now.